somebody else to clown you because your husband cheated or clown you because he did it with your money. You know, it would be for me to say, you know what, I wish you well. You know, you can make it through this. You know, it'll be okay. So for you to sit there and kind of throw shade at the young lady, oh, Wendy, not good. But anyway, um, moving right along because I won't give you that much more. Um, yeah, Tessica, I really, really send my prayers out to you. Um, I do. You know, that that's not the way I know anyone would want to be known for, you know. And it's so easy. It's so easy to make mistakes. And it's so hard to recover from them, especially in the age that we're in now with the internet, TikTok, and all these different platforms. And, you know... People can be very heartless, but there is no jokes over here about your situation. We definitely, definitely send all our prayers to you. Um, hopefully, there will be some type of, uh, I'm not sure who, what, I, I don't know, what a dermatologist. I'm not sure who could reach out, but there will be some type of physician, hopefully, that will reach out to you. And... Um, be willing to offer services to you for the near future if that's possible but um in the meantime sweetie you don't represent all black women as a whole and you know you represent how a lot of women in all races have done and made mistakes all in the name of beauty white black Puerto Rican, Haitian, Asian, Italian, we have all, and I'm saying we, me included, have done some, I've broken a nail on several occasions and went and grabbed the crazy glue. And it clearly states, do not let it touch your skin or it's not meant for personal. So, you know, and thank God, my nail didn't come off or nothing happened, but that's just truly unfortunate. So again, like I said, I pray all, all best wishes for you and that you recover. Um, sweetie, my, my, my assistant today, a baby, He's joining me today. You got something you want to say to Miss Jessica? Ah, uh, Miss Jessica. My name is Kobe, and I hope you get better. That's right. We over here hoping you get better, Miss Jessica. We love you. You can definitely message us, and I will reach out to you myself personally. And, hey, you're not alone. Please don't feel alone. You're not don't believe the hype. Don't let them tell you. It's just too sad that sometimes people, you know, have to laugh and make fun of others' hurt and their trauma and things that have caused others pain in order for them to feel good. But you know what you can realize? They really don't feel good about themselves. And that's what you guys maybe the ones who are laughing could possibly share with her you know different things uh different affirmations she could be able to say every morning you know when she starts her day because i've been there you know as you know and you you know go through my backstory you know i used to be on drugs and i'm not making this about me not at all not in the least because i don't have to But again, it all goes back to what I was saying before about low self-esteem, you know. So somewhere in there, she felt that it was just, it was important enough for her to do what she did so that she could look a certain way. Okay, so if she doesn't look like the young lady who wears her hair natural or who has the locks, 
okay so the lady who has the hair that's natural and has the locks might not have reached for gorilla glue to do her hair at any point in time but i guarantee she has done something that she's shamed of something that she regrets somewhere in her life and i can guarantee you as long as we all keep living we're going to make many more mistakes believe that sweetie we love you and i'll say to all women of any race yes love yourselves it took me 42 years 40 years because i'm 42 now it took me 40 years to understand it was a very long process so it took me 40 years to get to a place where i really have started to love me so with that being said Blessings to you all and good night.